Both pitch and slope indicate the incline of a roof, expressed as proportion of the vertical to the horizontal. This video describes both roof slope and roof pitch, and the differences between them, as they are not the same. Since slope affects how roof systems are installed, including dictating which type of roof covering material can be applied, understanding how to measure the slope of a roof may be valuable to a home inspector. Please note that, according to the International Standards of Practice for performing a general home inspection, the inspector is not required to measure the slope of the roof. Geometry. This illustration shows a simple gable roof and the general relationship between rise, run, and span. Roof framing is a practical application of geometry and roof slope is based largely on the properties of a right triangle. In roof framing, the base of the right triangle is called the run, and the run is the distance from the outside of the wall's top plate to a point directly below the center of the ridge. The vertical leg of the triangle is called the rise, which is the distance of the roof rafter board extending upward above the wall's top plate. Slope is the incline of the roof expressed as a ratio of the vertical rise to the horizontal run, where the run is some portion of the span. This ratio is always expressed as inches per foot. A roof that rises four inches for every one foot or 12 inches of run is said to have a four and 12 slope. If the rise is six inches for every 12 inches of run, then the roof slope is 6 and 12. The slope can be expressed numerically as a ratio. The slope ratio represents a certain amount of vertical rise for every 12 inches of horizontal run. For example, a 4 and 12 slope can be expressed as the ratio of 4, 12. A 6 and 12 slope is expressed as 6, 12. The triangular symbol above the roof line in this architectural plan provides information on the roof's slope. Slope is expressed as a ratio and inches per foot. Pitch is the incline of a roof expressed as a fraction derived by dividing the rise by the span, where the roof span is the distance between the outside of one's wall's top plate to another. A roof that rises 8 feet over a 24 foot span is said to have a 1 to 3 pitch. If the rise is 4 feet over a 24 foot span, then the roof pitch is 1 to 6. The pitch can be expressed numerically as a fraction. The pitch fraction represents a certain amount of vertical rise over the entire span. For example, a 4 to 12 pitch can be expressed as the fraction 1 over 3. A 6 to 12 pitch can be expressed as 1 over 2. The term pitch and slope are often used interchangeably, which is incorrect. They do not mean the same thing. The slope of a roof affects the surface drainage of water and can determine the type of roof covering materials that should be installed. Asphalt shingles should be used only on roof slopes 212 or greater. Asphalt shingle roofs are designed to shed water and are not meant to serve as a waterproof barrier. The slope of a roof affects its ability to shed water and determines the limits for using asphalt shingles. Most asphalt shingles may be used on roof slopes from 412 to 2112 using standard application methods. Asphalt shingles may be used on slopes from 2.12 to 3.9.12 if special low slope application procedures are followed. An inspector will usually find roll roofing materials installed on slopes of less than 4.12. Measuring slope. You'll need a carpenter's level, a tape measure, and a pencil. Measure 12 inches from one end of the level and make a mark. You can take measurements from the unfinished attic space under the roof or at the rake board area or on top of the roof covering materials. Measuring the roof slope from the roof surface will be inaccurate 
without the use of something to make a flat surface from which to measure the slope. The use of a 48 inch carpenter's level or a straight two by four board may be useful to create a smooth surface that mirrors the slope of the roof. An inspector may find the use of mobile technology valuable. There are applications for mobile devices that accurately measure the slope of a roof, including the ability to take digital pictures of the slope from the ground. In summary, pitch and slope do not mean the same thing. Slope is the ratio measured in inches per foot because slope affects how water is shed from a roof surface and determines the limits for using asphalt shingles. Understanding how to measure the slope of a roof may be valuable to a home inspector.